Hello, 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 and welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda, and I love saying things, and I'm so glad that you're here today. I hope you're having a great day or day of your choice. We are doing another look with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette because I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this palette. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell down below. I'd really appreciate it. So let's just jump in because there's no time like the present. Let's get in here into the crease shade, which is called Crease, which is genius. Oh, that's a whole lot of color. That's super pigmented. That is super pigmented. How did I forget that? That's just craziness on my part to have forgotten that it's really pigmented. This is going to be a really interesting look. But I'm definitely going a lot darker on the crease than I did the last time. And I have hooded eyes. So this look is friendly for all eyes, especially the hooded ones. And it looks like a big old mess. Let me get my blending brush out here and see if I can't fix it and soften everything up. It's looking better already. There's nothing like blending to really solve a, a pigmentation problem, you know. Blend it for the gods. All right, so we got that going. Um, this time we're going to do the center eyelid with this, which is called center eye, and it's a gold color. I'm just putting it right here in the middle of my eyelid. Oh, that's pretty. It looks like I need to go a little heavier with it. That is lovely. That is really pretty. <clears throat> So now I'm going to go in with the outer eyelid color and I'm going to go into this one called outer eyelid and it is kind of a brown, a little browny color. It looks great with that gold. I'm going in with a really soft brush. Just want to blend that out into the crease. Get the blending brush and solve all the world's problems at once. Ooh, this is dark. But I like it. This is a bold book. Trying to blend it out as best I can. This is definitely a bold look. So, you know, I'm going to have to do a bold look with this. Because this feels very heavy-handed and crazy. And then the inner corner, I'm going to go in here. My finger. And blend that out. That is beautiful. It's super soft. I 
That really has brightened up the eye look very much. I think that next we will do eyeliner because I don't think I need any more eyeshadow, but the eyeliner will bring this together. And I'm gonna use the House Laboratories original formula. It's still on sale at Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks, but it's fantastic. And it's really easy to paint with. The eye, the eyeliner always takes so much concentration that it's totally worth the time. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And this needs a few coats to really get it. Reaching for the stars. And it works super fast. And it is as good as some of my Lancome mascaras. If not, dare I say better. It really lengthens the lashes. I'm feeling super pretty and sassy. And I'm gonna go with a dark lip. I'm going to be using number 50 Voyager from Maybelline Super Matte Stay Ink. Can't wait for the rest. very pronounced cupid's bow there. Very nice. So this is a beautiful dark spring look with an Natasha Denona Glam palette. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day or day of choice and I'll see you real soon.